Welcome to South South News. I'm Bill Miller. Are we making headway in reversing the AIDS epidemic? How many millions of people around the world have been adversely affected by this horrific disease? What are various groups such as the United Nations and universities such as Columbia University in the United States doing to help combat the AIDS problem? My guest today is going to bring us up to date on what Columbia is doing, and it's doing some major work. My guest today is Dr. Stephen Nicholas. Dr. Nicholas is a pediatrician and a pioneer in the care of HIV-infected children and their families. He started the Harlem Hospital Pediatric AIDS Program in New York City in 1985. He co-founded the Incarnation Children's Centers, New York's first residence for homeless children with AIDS, and in 1988, he founded the Columbia University International Family AIDS Program. That was in 1999, I believe it was. Dr. Nicholas is currently the Dean for Admissions at the Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons, which is one of the top medical schools in the United States, where he is a professor of pediatrics and public health, and also serves as the director of the Global Health Track for medical students. Dr. Nicholas is also a member of Rotary International, a Paul Harris Fellow, and a recipient of many awards and honors. Dr. Nicholas, welcome to South South News. That all makes me sound pretty old. <laughs> you just, you crammed a lot into a short period. <laughs> yes. That's what it is. All right. Well, let's, we're, we got a lot of topics to talk about. We're going to talk about your international activities in the Dominican Republic and elsewhere, but let's start with Harlem. Harlem is an area in New York City, the northern part of the city. Tell us about Harlem and what you did in that area to help combat the AIDS epidemic. This is a, a story that I think is important for people to understand because it really relates to whether there's hope for AIDS in the, in the broader world. Harlem, at the beginning of the epidemic of the early 1980s, had the highest rate of mother-baby AIDS in the country, in the United States. 